Chamber uh, Commission meeting of the Education Committee to order on uh, 3 June at 6 p.m. And we'll have the invitation from Commissioner Sullivan. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. We thank you for the great county that we live in. Uh, Father, I thank you for carrying us through these storms over the past few weeks and the hard work of our highway department, um, EMS, EMA. Father, I thank you for a great school year that's just finished up and for your protection, your guidance over our students and teachers and staff as they've been um, educating our children this year. Pray for a good summer for them and a good time of rest. I pray that you continue to be with us as we discuss the business of this county. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, I'd like to have a motion for approval of the agenda. Motion okay. to approve. I want to add something to the end of the good concerns about the education committee uh, that I've received on this last several months. If that's all right. Second. Okay, let's put that. Well, yeah. Also, I want to strike D and E uh, because we don't have anybody from the uh, from the school board to talk about these these issues. So we'll go ahead and strike those and put those underneath old business. Motion to approve the agenda. Second. Concerns about the committee. Well, last several months I've received a lot of concerns from citizens. Some of um, some of the concerns is public record for emails. So I mean, I, but I'll leave it at that. Um, safety concerns, library books. Um, I think I can. I won't speak for the whole committee, but kind of wondering, you know, who's gonna kick that hand back and not approve library books for new schools, yet it was added by yourself on the full commission. So I, I feel like there's a breakdown in communication um, from you, honestly. Uh, it, I just feel like we're blindsided at times. You know, I go in there and it's added to an agenda, something like this. The citizenry is all riled up. They're upset. We got a chaos here. Allegations, I know you have nothing to do with that, but allegations made towards me in the public eye of giving Dr. Langford and the school board a blank check for pornography in our schools is so all out of touch with where I stand that this now is really kind of unraveling itself into more because people are saying, well, if that were the case, then why did your chairman add it to the agenda? 
as a full commission. So there's a breakdown in communication. The public is left wondering, you know, what's going on. I, I just think, I'm just going to cut through the chase. I just think it's in the benefit of the citizens, the benefit of this committee for the final two months that we motion to have Mr. Becker take over because there's just been too much. There's not, I don't feel like there's a, a cohesive effort here by this committee. I, I just feel like there's a lot of divisiveness. I hate that it's come to this, but, you know, like several months ago, you know, with the security concerns, and I'll leave it at that because I really don't want to go into that, had me concerned, had a lot of parents concerned, just what we've out there. Um, I think that's where we're at right now. I hate that we're at that way, but it just... So what was the motion? No more the motion. It just he had concerns about the committee. I've had parents say, look, you know, they would like Mr. Brown to step back off the chairmanship because there's a breakdown in communication. I left last, the last commission meeting, I had parents say, what happened? Or why are the books there? You know, why was this on the agenda by the very person that didn't want it on the agenda? I can't answer for that. Just a breakdown of communication. Well, first of all, we had no list, period. I didn't know what we were spending it on. Then we got two thirds of the list. We still don't have a, a third of it, which is the high school. I don't like spending money for something I don't know what I'm getting. Well, I was on the impression that was the school board's responsibility that they're an elected body to. They, yeah, but they should still give us a bill. They gave us an open-ended $200,000, a rounded number, not a specific buy like they have with these other things. And so because of that, that's why I was very concerned. But then it was a, that's where the breakdown um, confused them. Why was it added to the agenda? At the full commission, because they got, uh, he finally provided at least two thirds of it. I just think, you know, I just think it's proper way to do things. You know, we, whether we approve of the school board candidates that were elected, they're there to serve. They're, that's their responsibility. We'll hold their hold their feet to the fire. If something inappropriate reaches it. Just, well, know, to put up on the line though to say, well, you know, we're going to start um, policing the books of the school board. Want. I mean, that's an overreach. Okay, let's look at another issue here. We approved $15.3 million last October. We have no bids. None. I get it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. There's a well, that, there again, we had nothing. And this commission gave them $15.3 million. We have nothing. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I think he did make a motion when he was making that motion on the floor. So I mean, I'm really there's, there's, not, there's not a motion. There's, there's, the there's not a second. He made a motion. There's there's a, I didn't hear the motion. Motion. motion on the floor. Let Mr. Berger take over for the final two months till we can, and then when the new committees are formed, then for the motion. Okay. I want to make a suggestion here, if I can. Not a suggestion, but just a statement. The committees of the commission are appointed by. The county commission, not part of any other one. We have no structure uh, to remove a person from a seat uh, other than by the commission itself. They appointed this committee, the commission as a whole. And I have no dog in this fight at all. I think this committee, this is my interpretation has the right to request a chairman to step down and resign his position, but I do not think that the committee has the right to remove anybody. Well, we're not removing it from the committee itself, correct? Is that, well, right, I right. It was and just and from a, the chairman that we voted on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think, it, I think he's just saying... Yeah. Okay. Just to redo the, the actual I mean, chair. If I've got not the citizens full. coming to me though with concerns <laughs> right, well, on stuff, that, I, ha I have to bring it here. I mean, I don't like it, but I have to bring it. It's well, very uh, concerned. So, so, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I don't have a talk. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just trying to make it. Right way on this, but uh, that would, understanding what you're saying, 
now, we we need to look at that further if it was just the committee chairmanship. But I would just say let's be careful that we don't go down on treacherous uh, roads. But has this ever been done given. before? Pardon? Has this ever been done before? I, in 31 years, I don't remember this happening. Could we adjourn for just a second? I think it was about to make a motion to recess, not adjourn. Oh, motion for recess. Not someone. I think there a time on the recess. About 15 minutes, I guess. Motion for recess for 15 minutes. Someone. Second. All in aye. Aye. Okay, so based on the terms of this committee, in order for there to be the removal as chairman, there will have to be some sort of neglect or misconduct allegation, and then it would be deferred to ethics, and then the ethics committee would make the call on the direction to go from there. And that's based on what? Robert's rules. So even though we appoint, appoint the chairman, we cannot remove the chairman. It has to go to an outside It's board. because of the way the terms run. Yes. So if we voted to suspend the rules, could we do that and then vote that way? I don't think you can vote outside of the rules. Okay. Well, I read through the rules during the, I mean, it wasn't Robert's rules. It was just our standing rules. It was basically just this committee appoints it, this committee. That's true. So. And if the terms were different, then it would be a two-thirds issue. But because of the way these terms, these are designated one-year terms, that's the section that this falls under. Under the term scenario we've got here, it refers you to 63 uh, as far as how to deal with the individual for the allegation of neglect or misconduct. Not 
An officer can be removed from office only for cause, that is, neglect of duty in office or misconduct. I understand that, but if you go down to 63, the A and plus our standing local rules are that we have a committee to deal with those issues. Our ethics committee deals with neglect of duty also? Yes, anything related to commissioners. I thought it was just for ethics. I apologize. And that's why I asked if he wants to lodge an well, ethics well, complaint. You know, I don't know if you can really identify it as neglect of duty as more of a reckless behavior for safety of our students. Uh, I, I mean, Commissioner Smith, that was up for maybe about six hours. It's not at my direction either. I did not direct those pictures to be put on. Well, then you were asked to take them down. I by did take them down. They were down. taken down within six hours. Nothing to last six oh, I hours. Had to, I had to call the IT department to have them taken no, down. No, you didn't do that. Yes, I did. I no. called the IT department they took and asked them to remove. They took it down. Yeah, because I asked them. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, you, can, you can say no all you want, but I know I made that phone call. You may, you may have made that phone call. And it, it, was, it didn't originate with you. Well, it was whenever... It was whenever uh, one of the school board members showed me that they were up on the website. I did not know they were up on the website. And, and then, whenever he showed me they were up on the website, that's when I directed them to pull them down. Was that before or after you told me that I was usurping my your authority to do that on a text message? That I was basically overstepping your authority by. It was probably afterwards, yes. I was, you know. Hearing it that today, I had no idea that. I know I can go back to the department and ask them to remove those pictures because you're put, that was putting a target on our students' back, our teachers' back, the safety of that school. And here we're talking about this in public right now. Well, you brought it up. Well, no, you brought it up. I just said I had it. You that was one of your concerns. And we do not need to talk about this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm reserving this for a private conversation. But well, the public has a right to know. I understand. Whether they like you were the one doing it now. Well, it's coming up because I have concerns because citizens want to know why these things are happening. I have to answer to the citizens. I, okay. I think uh, I think at this point, folks, we need uh, we've got one or two choices. Either move forward with a ethics complaint, or we need to move on with the committee. One of the There's a motion and a second. Should be still because I haven't heard anything as to why it shouldn't be voted on. Because for the original one. Because there's nothing that says the ethics, there's nothing that says what the ethics and conduct committee members are responsible. Like bringing them involved is, is I think that's what you're asking. Based on the term section, it doesn't even discuss the voting part of this under 62-16. It tells you to refer to 63, which is an investigation and a trial based on the misconduct and neglect of duty. And this body has established the ethics committee to do that. So, so if there's a if there's a file complaint, then there could be an, an interim chairman. I mean, uh, I, I I disagree with the ruling because uh, it doesn't. Nothing you said has convinced me that that's the way we operate. I mean, Mr. Hyde even stated this, this has never happened to his knowledge in 31 years, and I overheard him saying we need to, and I agree, add something to our rules about it. You want to I don't disagree. I yeah. love the clarity. No, I agree. I mean, I agree with you. So I think we all agree that. Could a chairman voluntarily step down? Like, is that a, that's is always an option? That is an option. Okay, that's what. It's I, I'm curious on this particular section here. The removal from office is that an officer or a chairman? An officer is a chairman. The chairman is an officer. <laughs>
distinction I'm seeing in the two is the way the terms are defined. If the terms are coterminous with their uh, cycle of their election, it falls under one category. Or if it's a committee like these, which are fixed, fixed terms, they're on one year fixed terms. They can be reappointed, but when y'all are reappointed, you vote for a chairman again and a vice chair and, and whatever other offices of that committee that you need. That's what this falls under, and that's what takes us right into the investigation and trial portion of it. Okay, well, you know, my feeling is this. We don't need to sit here all night long and discuss this. Uh, but you will be going round and round. What happens, just lay it all out on the table here, what happens if the body overrules the um, decision
if we vote on it, that's fine. I'll cast my vote. But we've got two months, and committee appointments will be made. And I, I, I don't know. There, there's a lot of gray area from what I'm hearing from legal and, and Chairman Hyde, and, and just you know, I don't know how this would play out if we voted on it, or if it would even stand. I don't know.
this is in motion. This is a scene. Yes. Yes. All right, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. I would have to the whole committee. The whole commission to vote on everything else does.